everyone and welcome to my channel. So after a long break I'm back to a long necklace project and we're gonna work on another long necklace today. We're gonna be doing pro. So these are all the necklaces we already worked on. I think we started with this uh, spiral necklace which is very gorgeous. So I made this two different colors here and then I think I'm not sure but I think it was chenille. So we made chenille necklace with graduated effect, black and teal, and then blue and white. And then uh, we worked on this herringbone necklace, also graduated effect. One is like forest colors and one of them is brown and lavender. So today we're gonna work on pro chain, with go also with a graduated effect. Now this is not my best work. This is actually first necklace I made in the uh, this project, a long necklace. And that's where I got the idea that I should do a lot of long necklaces. And then we're gonna, you know, for years and years to come, just gonna work on tons of different pendants to go along with this necklaces. So you can see like I have a lot of different color combinations. So this one as well, I didn't do well when I wanted to try and do the graduated effect. So you can't really see anything here. Well, first of all, it's sparkly, but that's not the fault of the beads. What happened is I tried to randomly add some gold here before transferring completely to gold and then added some randomly black beads. But then what I did again, here I used black thread and here I used white thread. So, you know, even that part where I'm transitioning is terrible. I thought I'm gonna take it apart, but I decided to keep it to show you what mistakes I've done. <laughs> so, <laughs> happens to everyone. I mean, I, I design a lot of stuff and more often than not, they don't work out. But today, uh, we're gonna work on pro. We're gonna tr do the graduate effect but I'm not gonna try to randomly add the beads. What I'm gonna do, just like in this last two necklaces, I took a mathematical approach. So we're gonna count and I will explain you in a bit how we're gonna do that. But you, if you've seen these two uh, tutorials, you probably already know what I mean. It's just gonna be different number of beads. So today, considering all the colors I have, I decided, you know, I don't really have one in very light colors, so I decided to combine these two. I don't know if I'm gonna regret it or not, but uh, I will try to combine these two. It will be beige transferred to pink. So the graduated effect won't be so noticeable here, but depending on what colors you use, it will be more obvious or less obvious. So, But I, I decided that I need one very light combination for the necklace because it's all see different colors. I don't really have completely white or so these two we're gonna work on this two today. It's all 11 otohos. I only work with 11 otohos on this project. And uh, I'm gonna be using white Naimo to go with my colors. A pick to start off, scissors to cut the threads, beading needle size 10, uh, keep size 12 handy if in some spots it gets too tight depending on also what type of beads you use if they are like you know silver lined or whatnot sometimes it can get tight and then today I'm just gonna use a toggle clasp so get the materials ready thread your needle with comfortable length take a long thread if you can pro you use a lot of thread it takes a lot of thread because it's so many beads so many passes with your thread so just take comfortable length and if you don't know how to add thread in the description box I will leave a link to a short tutorial where I show you how to add thread to crawl cubic right angle weave which is basically the same thing it's the same process so you can check that out in a while if you don't know how to but I'm gonna go ahead thread my needle with comfortable length and then we'll get to work so I have my beads I'm gonna start with beige here instead of black and then we're gonna transfer to pink later so this necklace is 80 centimeters long. My other necklace, I'm gonna make it 70, so it's gonna be shorter, less work, and I want to have two different lengths to work with. So, you know, it's nice to wear different stuff. So what we're gonna do here, you know, uh, I don't know many ways you can add clasp to pro, and I was trying to come up with different ideas, and I thought maybe to add like in my other projects, like, you know, we added with a 6-0 bead and then, you know, made a loop, but then I decided it looks better this way. And this, we start with crawl <laughs> and then switch to pro. So to crawl, it's very easy to attach the clasp because you know, it's square in the shape. So, but here you have six 
sides so it might be a bit difficult to attach clasps straight onto this so you kind of have to make some transfers some sort of transfers and this time i decided to do it crop cubic right angle width. so we're gonna start with crop and then switch to crop so i'm gonna pick up four 11 o's one two three four i'm gonna drop it down i'm gonna leave a tail of about six inch that should be enough to attach the clasp one side of the clasp so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and make two overhand knots to hold those beads in place just to make sure i have enough of thread left here and then another one i'm gonna pull it nice and tight and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set it on my peak and we're gonna start our crawl what I'm gonna do here, my thread has to be coming out of a bead and right now it's just stuck in between. I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the first 11 0 Pick up three 11 0s go through the same bead your thread's coming out of. Go through the second bead of the floor. Pick up two 11 0s So this is first side, so I'm gonna go down the side and straight through the floor bead. Then you can pop this up here. Go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two 11 O's. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the last bead of the floor and go up the side of the first wall. Pick up one bead. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Then go up and connect those four beads at the top. Just by going through all of them, making a connection. So there's a thread going in between them. Just trying to explain in all sorts of ways so you understand. So now it's connected the top, same the beads. They're all connected between each other. And that's our crawl. And now here on top of this, we're gonna switch to pro. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up four beads, go through the same bead my thread's coming out of. Go through the second bead of the floor, pick up two beads. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Now go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up three beads. One, two, three. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Then go through the last bead of the floor. Go up the side of the first wall. Pick up one bead, go down the side of the last wall, and straight through the floor bead. And then you wanna go up. And now when you want to connect the ceiling, you find out that you have six beads at the top. That's what we need. So you just go through all those six beads. And now with no trouble at all, we have a base for a pro. We have six, uh, six bead pro. So it starts with six beads and it will have six uh, edges. So that's how you switch. And now here, we just do continue our pro. I'm gonna pick up three beads, go through the same bead your thread's coming out of, go through the second bead of the floor, the bead right next to the base of the first wall. Pick up two beads. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two 11 O's. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. 
go through the next beat floor, floor beat, which is fourth, pick up two 11 O's, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. Go through the fifth beat of the floor, pick up two 11 O's, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. And then you go through the last beat of the floor and straight up the side of the first wall. Pick up one beat, then you go down the side of the last wall. See, this is the last wall we added, so I'm gonna go down the side and straight through the floor beat. Pull the thread, then I'm gonna go up the next beat. And now I connect the ceiling, which is six beats. is connected so again you have six beads that you're gonna build pro on top and look we already have visually it's different already see here it's crawl with four sides and here if you touch this one you can feel six sides and it's simple now you just continue the same way all the way until you finish your necklace so it's just the only part is sometime when we get to the middle we're gonna make a gradual graduated effect and switch to pink and then switch back to beige. But well, of course you can use your own different colors. So now I'm gonna show you twice how to do the pro and then from there you continue on your own. You can always rewind. Every single pro unit is exactly the same. But I'm just gonna do it two more times so in case I miss something in one, you know, you can catch up in the next one. So I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's, go through the same beat my thread's coming out of. Go through the second beat of the floor, pick up two 11 O's, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. There is a spider on my camera. Oh God. Oh. I don't know if it's a good luck or bad luck. Now I'm gonna go through the third beat of the floor, pick up two 11 O's, Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. The spider is still there and looking at me. Oh, did you see that? He's gone now. Oh well, that was an excitement. So now I'm gonna go through the fourth beat of the floor. Pick up two 11 O's. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. Then I'm gonna go through the fifth beat of the floor, pick up two 11 O's, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. Then I'm gonna go through the last beat of the floor and if you can straight up the side of the first wall. Then you pick up one beat, then you go down this seat, this is the last Will we add it? I'm gonna go down the last wall and straight through the last floor beat and pull the thread. Then I'm gonna go up the next beat and all I do is connect this ceiling by going through all the six beats. So I have a thread going on between them, see? It's connected. I'm gonna show you one more time and I'm gonna let you continue on your own. I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's, go through the same bead my thread's coming out of. That was a small bead, I think, with a really small hole. Go through the next bead of the floor Pick up two 11 O's, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor. Go through the third bead of the floor, pick up two 11 O's, 
Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor. Go through the fourth bead of the floor. Pick up two 11 O's. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the fifth bead of the floor. Pick up two 11 O's. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the last bead of the floor and straight up the side of the first wall. See, this, part, this one is the first wall we built. So what I'm doing, I'm going through the last bead of the floor and up the side of the first wall. So we're heading upwards. And then I'm gonna pick up one bead. And then this is the last wall we added. So I'm gonna go down that wall and through the floor bead, the last floor bead, and pull the thread. Then I'm gonna go up the next bead and connect the ceiling. You just have to make sure you go through all those beads and don't forget that last bead you have to connect. Then when I pull my thread, it turns into a circle. And you just go on and on until you have required length. Now here, let me explain a bit. I'm doing a graduated effect. This is man not mandatory. You can just continue like this until you have your own length. You know, you can just do it with one color or you can stick around with me. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 20 centimeters of this beige. And when I have 20 centimeters, I'm gonna meet you back here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the graduated effect where I'm gonna transfer gradually from beige to the pink. Or you can just continue on your own and do your own way. I'm sure you all have your own tricks up the sleeve. But I'm gonna meet you once I have 20 centimeters and then we'll continue from there. So now I have my uh, 20 centimeters of pro. It took me ages to do it, it took me a couple hours. It's a very slow process. So what we're gonna do now, here you can see 11 sets of beads, each has 12 beads in it. Now, because I started with beige, this one has 11 beige and one pink. This one has 10 beige, two pink. This one has nine beige, three pink. This one has eight beige, four pink, seven, five, six, six, five, seven, four, eight, three, nine, two, ten, one, eleven. So slowly, from having more beige and less pink, I switch to more pink, one, it has 11 pink and one beige. And then once I'm done with this, I just switch to pink. So you can't really see much difference here because beige and pink, they're very light. And it, the pink is very light pink as well. It's like per, uh, pearly pink, but I wanted to have a light set. But depending on what kind of colors you're using, this can be very contrasting. Uh, but I have one suggestion, like I said here, because of contrast of colors, I made a mistake thinking that I can use two different colors of beads, two co different colors of threads, but that was a mistake. Stick to one color. If you have only white, stick to white. If you have only black, stick to black. But my advice, if you are using very contrasting colors, let's say very contrasting light with very contrasting black, uh, like dark color, use gray. That's what I do nowadays. So contrasting colors, use gray because it's very subtle color. It doesn't stick out too much because here, see, you have white and black and they stick out between the beads quite a lot. So, but because I'm using light colors, I'm using white. So what we're gonna do, each pro unit has 12 beads. That's why we have sets of 12. So I'm just gonna pick up the first 12 beads doesn't matter where the pink is. I'm just randomly gonna start picking up those beads, uh, disregarding what kind of beads there are. So, so here I have only one pink, but when you switch to further colors, you might hear, for example, eight, eight pink and four beige. So you just pick up any beads without considering what color you have right now. So what I'm gonna do here, I have 12 beads which has one pink in it, but I'm not gonna really bother when I'm gonna pick up the pink. So I'm gonna pick up three beads, go through the same bead my thread's coming out of, and then I'm gonna go through the second bead of the floor, 
and then I'm gonna pick up two beads go down the side of the first wall and straight through the floor bead and then I'm gonna go through the third bead of the floor pick up two beads go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead go through the next bead of the floor pick up two beads and if you can tell I picked up one pink there slight difference and then go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead go through the next floor bead pick up two beads go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead go through the last bead of the floor and straight up the side of the first wall pick up one bead which is the last one now go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead then you go up and connect the ceiling and now what you're gonna do you're gonna pick up next set create pro unit then so on and on until you finish the last one and once you finish the last one I'm gonna meet you back here and we're gonna do the sizing I can clearly see the pink there but I don't know if you can see the contrast in the camera so I'm gonna see you once I finish all those units so I went ahead and added all those 11 sets of 12 and I don't know if you can see I have a slight conversion between beige and pink now let me show you a more contrasting one for example uh, here in chenille in one of the chenille I used teal and black and here I used in the, one of the herringbone I used brown and green and see how conversion the graduated effect turns place now i explained in those tutorials as well that you can always make that longer in a way that you know i had 11 sets of 12 you could double that you could have the same 11 sets and have exactly the same right next to it having you know 11 beige one pink 11 beige one pink 10 beige two pink 10 beige two pink so you would just you know start with once one pinks and then two pinks and going on like that so the conversion uh, this uh, see this part it would double in the length so there are a lot of ways you can do this but this is the way i did and i know you can't really see in this one because of the my choice of colors but depending what kind of colors you have it will be more visible but i can see i don't know how much you can see on the camera anyway so i decided to make my necklace 70 centimeters right uh, my beige part is 20 centimeters the conversion part is four centimeters so that's 24 i know i will have to have exactly the same on the other side right so that's 24 by 2 that gives me 48 and 48 plus my class will give me about two centimeters so that would make it 50. so 70 minus 50 i have to add 20 centimeters of pink so i'm gonna start doing pink now just the pink and once I have 20 centimeters of the pink pro, we're gonna meet back here and we're gonna make graduated effect backwards from pink to the beige. So I'm gonna see you there. So I went ahead and finished 20 centimeters of pink. Now when I have longer stretch, you can probably see the difference. So now it's time to make graduated effect backwards. Now to be fair, with this colors, I didn't really have to do graduated effect because you can't really see it. I could have just, you know, straight away switched to pink, but the whole process of this tutorial is to show you how to do graduated effect. That's why I'm doing this. So now, remember we switched from beige to pink. Now it's time to switch from pink to beige. So again, I have 11 sets of 12. Here I have 11 pink, one beige, 10 pink, two beige, nine pink three beige and all the way until i have 11 beige and one pink so that way you are switching back from pink to beige gradually and then once you finish this 12 sets you just continue using only beige i'm not gonna show you how to do that because you just pick up this 12 sets first make crow unit then pick up the next and all the way and once you finish you start back with your pro now the sizing here is very easy once you're done with your graduate effect you just put next to your 
uh, pro and just continue making the same length of badge like you have here but then you have to stop once you reach this point and then once you reach here i'm gonna meet you back here and i'm gonna show you how to switch back from pro to crow and how to attach the clasp so go ahead get this all done first go one by one through all these 11 sets and then back to your side color and then we're gonna be back here so as you can see i'm almost done with the entire length i stopped when i reached that part where i have to switch to crawl so that's how I'm, how I'm gonna show you i already added one side of the clasp and i'm gonna show you how i did that on the other side just one important point here your, your clasp one side of the clasp has to be small enough for your charm to go through for example see this width of the uh, uh, necklace so when I'm, when I'm working on pendants, I will obviously work on a bale that is big enough to go through this. But I don't want to make it too big that I will have to also accommodate my clasp. So see my um, toggle clasp just lies down straight and I can just take it through. So make sure one side of the clasp is small enough to let the pendant go through. So now here we're going to switch to crow and we're going to attach the clasp. So I finished with my pro and I have six beads at the top. And now we're gonna switch it into a crawl. So I'm gonna pick up three beads, go through the last two beads and come back through the bead my thread's coming out of. And pull my thread. And that's how you end up with. A bit awkward looking, but for now it's fine. Then you go through one bead, one floor bead Pick up two beads, go down the side of the last hole and straight through the floor bead. Go through the next two beads, pick up two 11 O's, go through the side of the last hole and straight through these two floor beads. And then you have last bead here left. And then you go up the side of the first wall. Pick up one bead. Go down the side of the last wall. This is the last wall we added. This one. So you go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. And then you go up. And connect the ceiling which is four beads easy and now before we attach the clasp we're gonna build one more crow on top of this so I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's go through the same bead my threads coming out of go through the next bead of the floor pick up two 11 O's Go down the side of the last hole and straight through the floor bead. Go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two 11 O's. Go down the side of the last hole and straight through the floor bead. Then go through the last bead of the floor and straight up the side of the first hole. Pick up one bead. Go down the side of the last hole. And straight through the floor then you go up and connect the ceiling and now we're gonna go ahead and attach the clasp here so I'm gonna take my clasp I'm gonna pick up one bead I'm gonna pick up my clasp and then I'm gonna pick up one more bead and then I'm gonna go through the same bead my thread's coming out of. Go up. Basically, we're gonna reinforce that place now. Just go through the bead, go through the clasp. Just turn it over. Through the second bead. And 
and through the floor and reinforce it one more time go through the bead through the clasp through the second bead and through the floor and here make sure to pull it nice and tight so one side is done now we're gonna go through the next floor bead there and go through the other one now here I'm gonna pick up one bead and then go through the clasp pick up one bead and then go through the bottom bead and now just reinforce it go through the bead go through the clasp go through the bead and go through the bottom bead and do it one more time And here make sure to pull your thread nice and tight and you're done and I'm just gonna go downwards make my first loop here go through some beads Make my second loop here. And take it away from that loop. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go around this bead here. And then here I can cut my thread at the very base. And we are done. So this is the light one. This is the black and gold one and here all the other necklaces I have so you can see I have a lot of different color combos going on so that's why I wanted to do this very light color because I don't really have one I just have this turquoise and white so I think I will also need maybe one completely white um, maybe one completely brown I really like this iris brown so I think I need to have one completely brown you know more simpler colors because these all are color combos so sometimes it could be hard to combine it with some of the uh, pendants unless you you go ahead and you know specifically choose the colors of the chain which you can do but I am planning to do a lot of pendants so I have to be able to combine with these necklaces so maybe I will work on craw chain we don't have craw chain yet maybe some, add some embellishments i don't know i haven't worked on any chains yet but i think from the neck when we come back again through project long necklace maybe i'll start slowly working on the pendants we'll see thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something new and i'll see you in the next one bye bye